it is it is the Canon Culture Podcast, home of where we do it for cash, clout, and of course, we do it for the culture. I'm your host, Just Jay Sam. I'm here with my producer, Mr. Plank. How you doing, sir? Wow. Yeah. See, hey, I, how's it going? I told you it was different today. We doing the show out of order. It, yeah, it was different. Yeah, we doing the show a little out of order today, but you know, whatever. All right, man. Let's see what we got on this week's episode. Have you uh, been paying attention to any of the Phantom Liberty info coming out? Um, I, I how much the info? Shit. Mostly like the update stuff. I like the update stuff. Mm. The perk systems and cars and reinvented shit. Yeah. They're I'm never going to the... fix that shitty driving, but hey, right, fuck it. Yeah, I'm here for the, the new hairstyles. You give a fuck about the hairstyles? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. You know, I gotta make me a bad bitch with a nice haircut. Oh, nice. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me see whether or not you should start a new character once the expansion launches. This comes from Forbes, and it is written by Paul Tassi. Paul, do anything else? Cyberpunk, Bruh. the true ending of Starfield, what you should watch on Apple TV, Spider-Man 2's fast travel on PS5 looks absolutely insane. Destiny 2, but with remnant upgrades. Okay, Diablo 4. So, yeah, he talked about One Piece. How to prepare for Cyberpunk 2077 2.0 update. So, yeah, he's been covering it multiple times. Let's see. I've been playing Cyberpunk 2077 to prepare for update 2.0. Yeah, so he didn't even get access to the game until this past week. Hmm playing the game on and off let's see i didn't do this but for the reason i didn't do this uh i already have three max level characters in cyberpunk with different builds across three different playthroughs i wasn't going to do everything a fourth time and the advantage of using an existing character that you already have 50 plus skill points and attribute points to instantly make a powerful build if you have cash you can buy a bunch of good cyberware right at the start of the game okay so that's cool I know one of the things I saw was high level stuff is now locked. So you can't just go and buy it and equip it to yourself or you can't just like kill certain NPCs and get it anymore. Um, which seems kind of like a bummer. Seems like a step backwards. Mm. So some of the stuff is like skill point and uh, attribute point locked. So you can't even use it. So. So whereas yeah. before, if you got like really good cyberware out of nowhere, you could just install it and be super OP at the beginning of the game. So that's uh that kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. There are some things that I really, really like, but other things that I just absolutely do not care for. And that's one of them. So mm. um, he goes on to say in this article, however, yes, I would recommend starting a new character if you were a considering doing so already or aren't too attached to your existing character you do not need to start a new character as phantom liberty is fine to play even if you are at the final you know like the turning point in the game um so basically like before the last mission and there's nothing wrong with experiencing it that way because it's pretty self-contained story um which i think is cool um i would have liked for them to introduce or alter a what is it a fourth a fifth ending yeah like a uh, ending that in includes the new character so or at least a couple of mm. the new characters because you definitely do some world changing shit in here from what i'm seeing like you take on an entirely new gang that didn't exist which i think is kind of crazy that one of the i mean before when you're going through pacifica and they're saying like oh this is the high level area like all of the shit you do here you know reflects the rest of the city i'm like oh okay cool that makes a little sense like, you know, some gangs recognize V and they're just like, oh, it's that person, blah, 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 blah. You know, whatever you choose, male, female, or both, or neither. Uh, I don't fucking know. Whatever you choose, I guess. Um, let's see. But I would start a new character on September 21st when the 2.0 launches. Why then? Because you're not going to get far enough between September 21st and September 26th when Phantom Liberty comes out. Ah, okay. Clearly, this guy does, he's underestimating, you know, uh, gamers who like Cyberpunk 2077. Maybe. You're a diehard like me. I'm, I'm actually taking the time off. So. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. How long are you taking off? Uh, I'm off for 
the 21st, the 22nd, and the 23rd. Now I'm back to work on the 24th. So. Mm. That was for the 2.0 update. As for when the Phantom Liberty drops, I don't have my schedule set for that week. So Maybe you should just uh, take off for the, the DLC. Yeah, uh, it's a Tuesday, so Ooh. I'm uh, working my production company job that day, so I'll be home. Oh, okay. There yeah. you go. So, you know, I kind of timed it out, you know, pretty well. Mm. Now, if my girlfriend's going to bother me, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. That's going to be a real tough one. I'm trying to convince her that, hey, I don't want to do anything except for play this video game. I don't know if she's going to accept that. You don't really like that shit. So, we'll see how that goes. Mm. But I'm really looking forward to a lot of the changes in the game. If you guys weren't aware, uh, some of the changes include... Uh, I wish I had an entire list, but obviously a whole new story campaign, increased level cap. Speaking of girlfriend, hold on, she's texting me right now. What the fuck does she want? Oh, uh, yeah, there's a new perk tree and new vehicles coming in Phantom Liberty. Oh, and of Lots course, of new, new hairstyles. New hairstyles. Okay, yeah, you love new hairstyles. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. I'm not gonna um, lie, this new main character, she looked like a bad bitch. You think so? Yeah. I didn't see her. I not, only know about Idris type. Elba. Oh, that's the it. goat. Yeah, I mean he a bad bitch too. True. For sure, for sure. Hundred percent. She he a bad bitch. Honestly, I do want to play it, but I don't think my computer is good enough to like really enjoy it. So I'm just gonna I'm either gonna wait on it or I'm just gonna watch people play it and then uh, yeah. and then wait for the purchase. Damn, you gonna watch me stream it? If you stream it, yeah, I'll watch it. You better not be dying every five seconds. Ah, uh, okay. You know I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, so. No. Yeah. Because I ain't no bitch. You, if you get farmed on the same mission, I'm just tuning off, man. Like, Bro, come on, buddy. that'd be terrible. That would be absolutely terrible. You know. That shit always game. happens to to guys who pick up like they just start streaming and they hit the the hardest difficulty. They just get farmed. Oh. That's what happened to me a bunch of times. It's not uh <laughs> It's not gonna work. We going back to the easy mode. Fuck it, the story game anyway. I'm like, hey guys, for the sake of the stream, man, we gonna we gonna turn this difficulty down. Oh, yeah. I so, have to, man. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, relax. Sorry, I'm yelling. Oh, it's all good. Yeah, I got a new one. When I play, when I played Cyberpunk, I was like, I didn't really focus on. I guess I focused on weapons and like hacking and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that shit. I don't know. Something about the gunplay was not that good. Yeah, I focused on hacking and swords, so like lots of melee. Cause... I only like the Johnny's gun. Johnny's gun, honestly, it was the the best gun in the game for me. Yeah. It's like, as soon as I got it, like, okay, well, I don't need to use really anything else. Yeah, I was I was clapping cheeks. I changed my whole build around specifically for his gun. I would like pull his pistol out, and then I didn't even use the mantis blades after a certain amount of time. Uh, just because they were significantly weaker than using like a fully upgraded witcher sword so mm. like, when you use Geralt's sword i think that's like i, I mean i haven't come across a, a sword that was stronger than that unless i cheat hack craft it basically so yeah that's the only way um but yeah after that i was just pretty much glitch damaging a bunch of shit. so Hey man, I was able to one shot a bunch of fucking bosses. So, I mean, mm. then again, that's not really a game like, you know, it's not really like an Elden Ring or something like where there's an actual like difficult mission. You're really just kind of getting shot at. Yeah, most it's of, just you just shoot at bullet sponges for like however long. Yeah, most of the time you can really just run through a bunch of stuff. So, and it's just very seldom where like, I think there's one mission where I think you're playing as Johnny. And you're like escaping no 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 that's it's like uh arasaka tower or something like that yeah the, the first one and there's the like flashback one i think it's the flashback one and there's a giant robot in the lobby hmm yeah that one i i think I, I don't think that's a flashback mission though i think that's going through the same town anyway but yeah the uh no because it yeah it is the first mission you're right you're right you're right uh because jackie is with you so and uh you could i just grenaded the shit out of the fucking robot so yeah hopefully uh i'm looking forward to the story elements i'm looking forward to seeing what's going on with idris elba's character man 
Uh, one thing I do want to see, though, is I, I was noticing some of the changes with, like, the gunplay and stuff like that. Even the, the trailer that I saw was... Some of it was a little wonky, especially after, like, playing the game. There's, yeah. like, a moment where the character, like, slides and then jumps off a hill or some shit like that. And is, like, floating over a bunch of people. And then they pull yeah. out a... The, whoever's playing it pulls out a pistol and starts randomly shooting into the ground. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this? I, I was just a little confused. Like, what... What is this supposed... First of all, that's not a very effective way to play this game. Like, anytime mm. you're doing stuff like that. Especially because you have access to, like, speeds where you're basically slowing down time. So maybe if they increase, like, the Sand Devastan type stuff, that would be cool. But uh, if something tells me they're they're not going to do that. I have a feeling. Probably not. Yeah, I don't... I don't, I don't really foresee that being a... Uh, we got too much bullet thing. time bullshit anyway. Yeah. I mean, I don't I, honestly, I don't really mind the the bullet time stuff. So, no, nah, I don't mind it. Uh yeah. I think when they nerfed the gorilla hands like super jump or like the super glide, I don't know what to call it. You know what I'm talking about when you you would uh you would pull up the hands, you would dash forward and you do the bullet time shit and then you oh, just start yeah. jumping. And then you just yeah. kind of hyper jump. Yeah. Yeah, you hyper you just go super fucking far and you could keep chaining it. That yeah. shit was hard. I missed that. I, I missed that so much. That was the best version of the game, honestly. I had I was doing that shit on 30 FPS, man. That shit was so good. I was just hopping around the map. Shit was loading <laughs> in still. Like, that shit was great. I miss it. I can't believe they nerfed that shit in, like, a couple months. Shit tough, man. But, hey, you know, it happens. It happens. We, well, need, I, a, we need a better movement option for, uh, for this update or this DLC. Yeah, I, I have a feeling it's not really gonna not gonna tie in well just because like the amount I, of the amount of stuff that they're changing and co like quote unquote uh improving on i really don't fuck with some of it so like if i could put cybernetics in my legs and shit why shouldn't i be able to do that you yeah know what i mean theoretically like why can't i just fucking run at flash speeds running down the fucking uh the highway to the city like doo -doo 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 -doo. well you can't it's called it's called bullet time Everything else slows down around you, and you're moving so fast. Like that shit is wild. Yeah, but bro. you go. You don't even go that far. Yeah, you go. Nah. You go you, zero. You distance. go regular game speed, but then the actual like in the within the game, everything's like moving super fucking slow. So it's like, why do I care about this? <laughs> don't. Yeah. It's it's not fun that way. Like I actually. If the driving was better, maybe. But there's only like one good car in the game. Uh, my, or I was only using -update. I was only using Jackie's motorcycle, so oh, I didn't really explore like too many of the cars because the driving is so shitty. So. Yeah, there's only one car that's good. It's like the one uh, that I don't know. Is it called that? I don't know the the race car. It was like the the teal and yellow one. It was like the the Outlander car or whatever. Oh, okay. I think I know which one. Like you're the talking desert about. car. Yeah, that one's that pretty shit. Dope, yeah. That was. That was the only good driving car in the whole game. Yeah, the other ones were so fucking slidey. The worst is Johnny's. Johnny's Porsche is oh, the, yeah. is the fucking worst car in the game. That uh, is so true. I couldn't get shit done once. Once you unlock that, you're thinking like, "Oh my god, this is gonna be so much fun!" Like, you know, doing a. What are you doing? Why are you running around like that? Sorry, that's my fucking dog. <laughs> oh, good. He's a. Uh... He's only seven weeks old, so he's still like learning how to exist as a as a being. So mm. he, the other day he discovered his tail, and I was like, uh, "Are you good?" And he was just staring at it, like he started to like you know do the thing where he spins around and trying to catch it. But then there was like a moment where he stared at it for I I kid you not, standing still in the middle of the fucking living room for like two minutes. Just staring at his tail, watching it go up and down. I'm like, you realize that's you doing that, right? <laughs> like, mm. <laughs> a little guy's a fucking moron. I love it. <laughs> I think all young young dogs are. My my fucking dog, my big dog, that little motherfucker. Uh, she's still doing that. Like, she's like way overweight, but she be. Oh my god, I saw her do the craziest shit. She was on her back. You know how, like, the dogs try to move themselves around and shit on their back? Right. She was doing that, but she's so big that shit looked crazy. Oh, nah. Like, the bitch, like, flailing around and shit. Not her spazzing out. She she looked like she was tweaking. 
funny ass <laughs> dog. I love her. Uh, better than your cat, though. I'll tell you that. No, my cat be chilling. I like the cat more. Yeah, yeah, she be chilling. She just on takes your mouse, up too much mouse. Yeah, yeah, she be taking up too she much. She be taking mouse up too much mouse pad. So I put um the trailer, the cinematic trailer, um the bullet time ninja thing. So that's one of the builds that they were showcasing, and the gameplay just looks super wonky, but they do have some of the movement change that you were looking for. Some of the movement that's, is that's, there. No, nah, I think I, I meant like traversal. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah kind like of actual thing. Like, like running around like. Like some Spider-Man shit. You know yeah, how Spider-Man yeah, can just uh, traverse this shit? Yeah, I would love some shit like that. Nah, but the, uh, the because it, with the Gorilla Hands fight, tech. Sure. Yeah, 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 with the Gorilla Hands tech. Oh, my God. Uh, the Gorilla Hands tech, you would, fly, you would literally start flying. It's, unfortunately, that's never coming back. Maybe in a yeah, modded like, version. Maybe, maybe in like... But then at that point, you're not playing the base game anymore. So... Okay. It's like... I'd rather that than have to deal with that fucking driving. Yeah. I guess if you're... If you're modding the game, then at that point, it's like, whatever. Might as well just keep going. I'm looking forward to be, finally being able to play this on PC, man. So... Because so obviously, I got it for... I think I have to buy the expansion for PS5... Or PS4, I don't know. Because, you know, I have the... I bought the PS4 version, so when I put the disc in, it loads the PS5 version of the game. So I don't mm. know if I, buying the PS5 DLC will allow me to play it with the PS4 disc. So I don't... I don't they're not very clear about that. So it looks like I might just have to buy Phantom Liberty for both PS4 and PS5, which I don't really have a problem with. Hmm. I won't be Isn't it only like 30, 40 bucks? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not know, bad. I, I got it like that right now. So. Yes, sir. We chilling. We chilling. Uh, I don't really. Is that see. the new check? The, the one with the check? red hair? Yeah, the one you put in the chat. Uh, oh, the... yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. This, is, this is the one that's bigger than that. Bigger than that? What does that mean? It's a bigger check. Oh. It's a bigger check, man. You find us up. Very fine. Those are a great set of pixels, oh, man. Oh, you mean the... Oh, okay. I thought you were talking chick, about... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, okay, my bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the girl. That's the girl from the from the update. Yeah, yeah she's, she's in the new DLC, for sure. She's the new... Uh, she's like the Netrunner for uh, Idris Elba's character. Oh, uh, okay. So, That's cool. Yeah, that'll be real, real interesting. Oh, looking forward to that. They did expand... Oh, shit. Hold on. They have several builds on the Cyberpunk page. Uh, the hack and slash net runner. This is actually kind of cool. They revamped the uh, the hacking system a little bit, so they just yeah. made improvements. It looks like the UI is a little cleaner. It moves oh, a little faster. Yeah. This is a thread based weapon. Is that what it? Look, is that a, Is that what yeah, I'm looking at? Of, yeah. In the melee. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty interesting. That's kind of sick. And then being able to hack multiple cars at a time. That's that's kind of cool too. You can make them self-destruct? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, she wow. She made the bitch kill herself. What the hey, fuck? that's crazy. This is actually insane. Hold up. You can... They got a shooting McGun build where you shoot somebody in the head and they die? I think so. I think I, I think there might be uh, might be a such Next. thing. Hold on. Savage Slugger. Okay. Yeah. What is this? Is this melee-based, I'm assuming? Oh. It's, yeah, it's a... It's, Damn. It looks like it. They beating oh, him with this, a hammer. This hammer is crazy. Oh, the hammer beat. Okay, you can oh, run with it. Wow. There's gonna be some tech with that. Little Reinhardt. Oh, you can dash with it too. Okay, little Reinhardt gameplay. Yeah, there's about to be some tech with this. I can tell. Yeah, this is gonna be crazy. Obliterated. They got the the fist for you, boy. Oh, you can pick uh, enemies up and. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What is this? You can throw cars. Nah, you probably can't throw cars. Damn. That why the fuck did they... Crazy. Oh, my Damn. God. Damn. Why is their bodies built like that? He obliterated, dude. You could just <laughs> knock him out? Okay, well... <laughs> I'm watching this compilation of smashing heads. This shit is hilarious. Uh, Yo, man. I'm glad I waited for the podcast before I actually watched these because this shit is hilarious. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm extra excited to play this game now, man. 
and I think this is this is just part of the 2.0 update. This isn't even like the new content. So mm. that's what's gonna be crazy, man. CD Projekt Red has done it again, man. They disappointed us, and then a couple years later, they remind us, "Hey, got to tell y'all, we the goats." So mm. good, good to see that, man. Good to see that. Now, if they just don't fuck up Witcher Four, that would be great. That'd be real great. Did you trilogy. see uh, the the state of play, Dre? There was a state of play. Yeah, it was the other day. It was like Thursday or Friday. Hold on, I gotta take a look. It had it, it had mostly indie titles, but there was a few like they did the Spider Man trailer. Uh, they did some shit where they showed off costumes, which is not super amazing. But they did the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth trailer. Oh, oh uh, shit. And they did the Resident Evil 4 DLC trailer. I don't really care, but okay. Really? That uh, DLC looked good. I, to be honest with you, I'm kind of just on Resident Evil 4 in general, so. <clears throat> I love that game. Yeah, I loved it once, and uh, I never need to love it ever again, so. Damn. Yeah, I just- You hating on Resident Evil, man? Nah, Come man, on. not that I'm hating on it, it's just, Resident Evil 4 was was such an iconic game for me, like when I played it, because I had it on still GameCube. Is? Yeah, it still is. But it's not one of the ones where I'm like, oh, I have to play this game again. You know what I mean? Like, I'm cool. I'm cool. I don't know. I had a really good time with uh, the 4 remake. I think maybe it was a really stellar game. Maybe when the full, when the new remake kind of collection comes out and there's a bunch of like four or five six whenever those i get really done. hope we don't do five. i really hope five, five and six don't get done i uh, really i, I hope not either games. but i mean i do want a multiplayer game that would be real nice um i guess mostly just two three and four then if they have like some type of bundle with all three of them in there sure i'll, I'll take that because i've been seeing like resident evil 2 and resident evil 3 bundles together um but they're like digital yeah. bundles so like, oh, okay, for $30, $35, you can get both of them, so. We'll see. I never finished Resident Evil 2, I never finished Resident Evil 3, so. Just kinda really? Over. Yeah, I, I got around to playing them, mostly because, you know, I was playing them with GTA, right? And uh, we were playing 6 together. So, you know, Oof. and of course, no, not 6, we were playing uh, 7 and 8 together. And then, you know, after the whole situation, you know, with everything, I finished yep. eight and I was just like, okay, I guess I'll I'll play two, two and three when they're on sale. I still haven't bought them. I got, I think I got Resident Evil 2 for free on PlayStation. Haven't played it. Haven't gotten around to it. I don't know. Wow. Yeah. So. Those are really great games that you're, well, two is a really great game. Two and four are really good. Yeah. Three was kind of average. So this is the, I'm looking at it right now. This is the uh, Ada Wong DLC, right? Ada Wong, yes, sir. Okay. And then they're going to add um, I can't Albert Wesker doing... and Ada to Mercenaries. <laughs> See, this is so strange. They couldn't just put this in the game? Like... Nah, it's separate. That's why it's called Separate Ways. Okay. All right. hey, yeah, sense. exactly. Mercenaries yeah, it's in the name. Free update. I, I don't know, man. They, they kind of did the same thing when the, when the original game came out. And they were like, oh, look, the, the Ada Wong game. And it's like, bro. Oh, they dropped a trailer for the Ubisoft Avatar game. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, that shit looks so bad. I looked at it, I said, no, this can't be real. This gotta be a VR only game. Cause, oh, it's not. It's, it's yeah, definitely no. not. This shit flopping, bro. I hope this shit flop, honestly. Cause this, I'm tired of seeing this series. You know, a couple years ago when I heard James Cameron had like seven Avatar movies in mind, I'm like, why, nigga? Why the fuck you need so many? good i don't know Absolutely. are blue people really that ex like no. that exciting like no 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 i fuck bitches. with the smurfs but i don't know only the bad bitches bro come on i don't want to like watch a big smurf movie nah, i'm cool. sorry i'm, I'm trying to fine. see the furries man that's it huh? if it's not huh what if it's not the furries bro i don't care the furries that's the only that's the only acceptable way i want i want the blue people that's it oh you mean the furbies Huh? What do you mean, nah? Nah, it's not what I meant. You mean the furs? I said what I said, bro. I said what I said. Don't act confused. 
you wait, you got somebody something to tell us? Jay, no, like, I don't have nothing to on? tell you, man. I said what I said. It's open to oh, interpretation. Okay. Whatever you whatever you think it is, man, that's what you think it is. I don't I, I don't have to elaborate. I'm just gonna hope that you met Furby's like Nope. Little, I sure like, did not. I weird promise you chicken I didn't. shit. I promise you I did not. Oh, okay, here's nah. here's the Spider Man trailer. Fourteen minutes in. Let me take a look at this. Okay, I, I Another thing, it's I'm just not interested in in seeing trailers for a game I'm I'm absolutely gonna buy. I don't need any more trailers. You know what I mean? I don't need any more marketing. Well, hey, just... hey, buddy, calm down. You oh, see, I'm oh. recording a podcast. My bad, bro. My bad. Nah, not, not you. Sure. Not you. I'm talking oh, to the oh. dog. Um, the game looks great, though, man. The the flying suits. Uh, you know, I heard those are equipable. So I was watching some gameplay the other day. You can equip and unequip those. And they got the GTA Five. Um, character switching going on so that's yep. kind of dope i love that and then they have side quests specifically for spider-man and and uh well actually both spider-man for miles and peter so because you know big peter yeah, yeah. miles is is spider-man let's 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 be clear so. yes sir he is spider-man <laughs> so they have individual and combined side quest from what i heard so and then there's they're also doing the arkham knight or i guess arkham city thing where they're gonna have additional villains and character Easter eggs and stuff like that that are gonna yep. be in side quests. So I'm really looking forward to that. Me too. I can't wait to play this game, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna be stealing my little brother's PS5 and then uh, you know, I'm gonna get to it, man. <laughs> He'll be all right. Like he don't need that shit. Yeah, nah, he good, man. He he has better things to be worried about. Like school. Work. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. I mean? Exactly. He needs to be doing his fucking homework. Oh shit! Is this the Spider Iron Man. Spider? Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on. Yeah, they have Superior in there too. Superior Spider Man. Nah. The one I was asking for in the first game. Nah, you're got. joking. You gotta be joking. You... Yeah. So hold on. They have the locations blurred out in the fucking trailer. <laughs> That's so crazy. Why would they do that? I mean, I get it, but. Damn! Okay, I see the fast. They have a uh, crazy. They have the Scarlet Spider-Man. Uh, uh, what is it? The one with the hood? Oh shit! They really? have that one. Oh, yeah, they no, have that too. Crazy. Oh, you can hold on. So each, not only do each character have their own. Oh my god! Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Was that the Raimi suit? Ain't no way. Yeah, it was. They got the black Raimi suit in the trailer. That's bold. That is bold. These. These mofos are going for gold on this. Holy shit. This is going to have mad DLC, though. There's the Tom Holland ones. Okay, I see those. Okay, cool. What is this one with the cape? Got the suits. All right. One thing I'm going to tell Insomniac, man. I think because they got it like that, I'd be okay with microtransactions, man. I'd be okay with, like, a dollar per suit or something like that. Ooh, not, nah, no, we're not doing that. Yeah, I don't want no them dollar. to, but like, you know, 99 cents a suit, I'd be okay with that. A suit? They got a lot of suits, though. Yeah, they nah, do. Nah, nah, nah. You know what? Maybe not. Let them have it, man. Let them have the money. Maybe we do like a little $10, $10 and you get like 30, 20 or, so, uh, 20 or 30 suits, because mm. I'm not doing that shit. Oh, we're getting Tales of Arise DLC? Oh! Oh my god! Bruh. That is not what I expected you to be hyped about. Bruh! Let's go! <laughs> you are. Oh man! Really excited for this. Yes, I am. Holy shit! I don't. I don't think you understand. Like I played so much of this game. Hold on, is this another Scarlet Nexus? <gasps> oh shit! They got the motherfucker putting the mask on. Oh, this is crazy. Beyond the dawn. Oh, this is... I ain't got to wait till November to play this. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and then a Hoyo trailer. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and skip Yeah, this. It, yeah. it was just Genshin. It was literally it's just, just It's just more, <laughs> more Hoyo shit. I'm okay, man. That's cool. We still ain't getting no Zenless Zero gameplay, but that's cool, I guess. Actually, they did drop gameplay around uh, the other conference. That's cool, but Real they ain't dropped the game yet, so... That is true. That's what I mean by gameplay, is, and I'm playing the game. Oh, let's yeah. go. Wow. Oh, my God. This Final Fantasy trailer looks sick. Bro, I'm wet. I'm wet. I'm actually wet. This is crazy. Is this the one? Where yeah, you I can, didn't. You can play a Sephiroth in this one? Uh, no, that's I think the other. so. That's Rebirth Part 2. Okay. So, I don't think that's out yet. I don't think that's Rebirth Part 2 isn't. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not out yet. It's that's in January. That's February? I, yeah, I think so. Yeah, so. <clears throat> That'll be the DLC for this game. So, 
Oh, oh, he's a playable character. No, he's right here in the trailer. Oh, oh that's what I thought you meant. Oh my God, I need it. Oh, I'm about to bust. This is crazy. Oh my God, this shit looks so good. Oh man, gaming has not been this good, man, since 2013. Zach is in, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, is this the nigga from Organization 13? What is he doing in here? Oh, whoa, 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 nigga. Hold on, Vincent is in here? Oh, bro, 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 bro. <laughs> this is crazy. This is actually crazy. Oh, but what's her name? Um, excuse me. My dog must have the zoomies. Only one of us is allowed to be excited in the house right now. Oh, shit. <clears throat> oh, bitch. Oh, my God. Yeah. Gaming Damn. is going crazy right now. Oh, but it's in 2024 on two disc. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I think it's, I think they said February. Yeah, February, February 29th on a leap year. Hold up. First of all, <laughs> having a game release on February 29th is kind of odd because that, that date only exists every four years. So it's like, holy shit. How rare is this? <laughs> <laughs> mm, maybe that's why they did it. Maybe, maybe. They definitely saw that date and they were like, yeah, let's go ahead and do that, man. This is cool. This is a great state of play, man. I enjoyed this. Man. Look at these spider punk. Oh my God. There are a ton of suits for this Spider-Man game. Holy shit. How long is this game going to be, dude? Cause like I'm seeing these scenes in the trailer and like none of them are repeat scenes and a bunch of them are not repeat enemies that you're fighting. So mm. I, I might have to smack my dog up, man. Oh, damn. This, this thing running around. Hold on, you're making me nervous. And it's getting dark right now. So like that better not be a slipper in his mouth. Hold on, give me a second. Oh shit. Um, uh, excuse me. Uh let's see. Peter's mechanized spider arms are available by default. That's cool. Uh, Peter's symbiote black suit is hypersensitive to sound. Felt through the dual sense. Oh, they're actually making dual sense. The dual sense controls work. Okay. What you over here doing, man? Parrying attacks is now an option. Wait, they had parry? Oh, that's cool. All right. Anyway, he just running around doing dumb shit right so i thought he was i thought he had like one of my slippers in it i thought i was about to beat the shit out of him anyway yeah i was looking at some of the spider-man shit yeah the spider-man shit is crazy dude this game is not <laughs> it's not coming out fast enough i need this game right now that's a fucking fact yeah like any day now would be cool what's the what's the official drop date on this uh october 20th i believe october right october 20 <sighs> That's gonna be tough. That's gonna be tough. I think I'm working that day. The... Probably gonna be working. Hold on, let me look at the date. Uh, I believe I'm right. That's still too. Yeah, it far is October away. 20. That's hella far away, dude. It's basically a month. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. What am I supposed to do for a month? We got party animals Thanks. coming out. Uh. In four days. Party animals. It's uh, like gang beasts. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. Sure. Yeah, you could throw each other and shit. You play mini games and stuff. Pretty interesting. I think I'm going to be copping that. Me and uh, me and some friends are going to play. Mm. So. Okay. Sure, for sure. Or to that, man. I don't know what else will keep my attention, though, because Spider-Man, I don't know. Like, that's some shit you only get once in a blue moon type. You know what for I mean? Sure. Yeah, who knows when the next time they're gonna drop anything good. That's a very quality game right there, man. I unironically haven't been this excited for a game since Spider-Man 1, the, for the original <laughs> one. True, 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 true. And then I was disappointed when I couldn't get the Iron Spider suit. Oh, yikes. Because they didn't put that shit in one. And That's I really okay. wanted it. You'll, you'll this is be an able iconic to live suit. it in Spider-Man 2, because it's in there. And then they so. made Bagman a fucking DLC. Great suit. Yeah. 
That's the one where he's in the Fantastic the, Four outfit the with the bag. Good, That's not true. Some of them were kind of mid in that trailer, but uh, oh, the ones the that are going to stand up. For yeah, Spider-Man they, 2 or Spider-Man 1? Spider-Man 2. Oh, yeah, because little... Some of them are... They added just, just a lot of random shit. Yeah, they just look like the most random fucking... Color I, I wanted some like cult, uh, collaboration ones. That would have been really cool. I would have loved to see like a Mega Man one. That would have been cool. Oh yeah, good luck with that. I don't. Hey man, I don't know. So. Yeah, you're asking a little too much. We're already getting this much, so. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I forgot. I'm a gamer in uh, modern day era. I can't expect to get more than than just the bare minimum. You're right. You're right. So, the only thing I was expecting to see. I'm gonna be honest, and this is, is gonna sound kind of stupid coming out of my mouth, is uh, Shadow of the Earth Tree. I was really, really hoping. What is that? Was, uh, the Elden Ring DLC. Oh, that's this is. I forgot there was a DLC. The game's been out for so long that I didn't know that they were uh, they were still doing that. Yeah, I thought it was supposed to drop this year. So, I mean, there's only a couple months left in the year. <laughs> September, <laughs> yeah. October, November, December. So. I know. And they didn't they release on, it at the state of play. So. Yeah, unless they plan on drop. I mean, they could drop it at any time, obviously, because you know, from soft. Hey. And they just got. Uh, Stop chewing on that. They just finished the successful release of Armored Core Six. Yeah. So you know, I wasn't really. It is about that, that time. I wasn't really expecting that to get a whole, you know, rollout. Not attraction. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to. I think. Maybe because a lot of people have not been familiar with the Armor Core series, but because of the popularity of Elden Ring, and uh, people are like, "Oh, it's a FromSoft game. Let's give it a try." You know what I mean? Like, and it turned out amazing. Yeah, thank goodness. A lot of people have said because that would have been very interesting. So, but you know, not to have people who haven't played the Armor Core series look. I don't want you guys thinking. Oh man, it's just you know another Elden Ring type game. No, it's no, 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 no. I promise you, it's not. It's a hey, stop it! Wait till I'm done. Damn. Oh, sorry. Damn. This is yeah. This is I, I'm gonna have to put my dog on the podcast. He's making so much fucking noise. So mm. yeah. But anyway, to let people know, Armor Core is not a Souls type game. It's basically like a Gundam mecha kind of game. So you guys will have a a ton of fun with that one. I promise. So. It did look like a good game. I didn't buy it because I'm poor, but same. Certainly a game that's interesting. Yeah, I'm not really. I'm saving my money for games I actually want to play. So. No, well, I'm saving my money for like lots of. There's so many fucking games. Yeah, that my time. wallet is kind of hurting. Yeah, same. I gotta, I gotta hit the corner if you know what I mean. Yeah, there's, there's so it's so fucking stacked at these uh, last few months of the year. Thank God. Be honest. Especially because we went through 2020, 2021. Really, 2019, too, was kind of a dry year. Uh, yeah. Spider-Man came out 2018. Yeah. 19, 20, 21, and 22 were pretty dry years. So it's about damn time, man. They've been... These game companies have been cooking a little too long. Start, start popping them meals out, man. I'm trying to see them. So, mm. You know, so far, everything... A bunch of stuff we got this year was fantastic so i'm looking forward to finally trying starfield of course allegedly because you know you know me oh. i don't i don't play bethesda games yeah allegedly so. you got to keep it on the the yeah. dl the down low shh, shh, shh. Little shh. you can't let them know you're playing hell nah and if i am no i'm not exactly hey you, see you must have steam, seen it wrong you see the steam thing pop up that says <laughs> just jay sama is playing starfield for the first time it's a lie it's a lie you real. just read it. You renamed a program to Starfield, and then you started playing it. You damn That's right. That's why every time you see me, you know, in Discord or whatever, and it pulls up, uh, I'm playing Elden Ring. Just know, I'm beating my meat. Huh? Hmm. What? Why did you say that? Because it's accurate. Something vicious is going on. Oh. Okay. Anyway. But yeah, man. These games are looking great. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's a good time to be a gamer, man. Excellent. I agree. Amazing. I can't. I can't wait. State of play. Persona was Three Reload. Yeah. Twenty Twenty Four. I forgot, man. Persona coming. Hee. Wow. You're not gonna play that, bro. Come on, stop. Stop I'm, it, please. I'm not, but I'm excited for you. 
<sighs> I can't be excited for you. This guy every other week, man. This guy says I'm gonna. I, I think I'm gonna go back to Persona Five. Uh, uh, hold on, I, I think hold I'm gonna on, give another time chance. Out, time out, time out. I did. I did download Persona okay. Five Royal, but I've been okay. working so much I haven't had a chance to start playing it again. Mm, I just, is that real? The new job, yeah, the new job is hitting me with. Uh, it's supposed to be part time, but they're hitting me with like 33, 35 hours a week. Damn the yeah. the Best Buy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Wow. I, I I barely have any time to breathe, and this bitch calling me on uh, the fucking. Uh, she's calling me on days I have off. She's like, oh, can you come in at 8 a.m. and it's fucking 7:55. I'm like, what? Huh? Damn. So yeah, nah. I'm, this shit running me ragged, bro. I slept so long yesterday. Like when I got home, I think it was like uh maybe like 5 30 yeah around 5 30 ish i fell asleep and didn't wake up until like nine this morning mm. i was just i was just out because i was so fucking tired man so it's just it's crazy they eating you up. alive with this job man yeah honestly i gotta i gotta catch up on anime i gotta catch up on uploads like i'm so far behind i'm two weeks behind on a on a current edit like Damn. So, yeah, from uh, when Byakuya was fighting in in the Thousand Year Blood War arc, like mm. fully healed BBC Byakuya, I'm just like, fuck, man, I never gonna get this shit done. So, we're uh, we gonna see, man. We gonna see. There uh, you I need, go. I need some time off. So, can't really. I mean, you go get some soon for cyberpunk yeah but that's not really I, i'm not gonna have enough time to like actually edit videos and stuff so damn yeah you're not gonna make no cyberpunk videos jay i don't know i don't know what i would do i don't i mean aside from like a walkthrough build video like you know you know what i mean like that's what i was gonna say the build video i guess i could do build videos but i don't know i don't i, I wouldn't even know what i would want to try so maybe I'll recreate the ones from these trailers and then go off of comments and see what people see what people are talking about. Yeah, you could do like a how strong is this like the trailer build or whatever. Yeah, that'd be great. Whoo, that's a banger video. Brandon, right you don't you don't have uh like the exact stat points, but you could kind of recreate it, right? Because they're using Mantis blades and the hammer and the yeah, other shit. I think it's gonna thread. take me more time to organize a type of video like that than you know than it would take to actually like film and make the video you know what i mean yeah so no nah, i agree let me pull up all three of these let me look take a look at the skill tree that'd be very interesting I, I think i might have to have a conversation with you uh whenever i'm planning to do like a bunch of videos all at once so that way you know you could get because i would have never thought of doing a a build video at all to be honest with you i wouldn't have known what i was gonna do i was gonna do like some fucking shenanigans type video just me screwing around but don't nobody want to watch that shit mm. so the screenshot i think they show the build oh do they i think they show like some of the skill point oh fuck maybe they show it in the other one because i'm looking at the ripper one right now savage slugger solo wait solo is there like a one that's not solo? Hello? What does that mean? I might be looking too deep into it. Hack and slash netrunner. Yeah, I'll probably cosplay a couple of these outfits and stuff like that. I'll do, um, what's his name? From, uh, from netrunners or yeah, yeah, yeah. From cyberpunk, uh, edge runners. That's what it is. Damn. Bro, yeah, I, my, my brain is not working yeah yeah from edge runners i'll probably do like a cosplay build so yeah I, I i think i could do a couple of these as far as you know what they would be i have no idea but you know that's what it is true i'll figure it out i guess Should me too do something else instead of working for a living um, um excuse me content. buddy are you biting my fucking water canister Damn. He's you got might the, have to. He's got the fucking zoomies right now, so trying to stop him from doing anything is the worst. You son of a bitch! You might have to box him. Get him, Jay. Get, yeah, get him. 
Put the paws on him. Come on. <laughs> no. Oh. Um. What else? Look at some other shit. Let me look at this article real quick. Age old promise. Let's see. Let me look at this gamer rant article because they're knocks this great. big ass metal water canister over. <laughs> and there's fucking the, and he like bit the top, and it's like loose now, and then he, so he when he knocked the canister over, all the water was starting to spill out. Oh god. Eh, slow motherfucker. Anyway, little bastard is ruining the crib. Honestly, because then fucking my girlfriend's gonna come home. She's gonna be like, what? What happened in here? I'm like, I don't. What if I know? Yeah. <laughs> so. Shit, man. But yeah, man, we got some great games coming out. I'm I'm really really excited. I don't know how many times I have to I have to say that or how many different ways I got to put it, but hey, fuck it. I need niggas. No, to I know. agree. Video games are great right now. We Video eat. games are super good. I couldn't I couldn't imagine being um, a Warzone streamer saying video games are stale right now. I couldn't imagine. Mm. That would suck. Shit, I'm even playing Overwatch 2 and having having a good time. Well, that's because I'm winning my rank matches, but, you know. That sounds about right. Yeah, that's the only time I'm having fun. <laughs> so, it would suck to be a 2K only player right now. So, oh, yeah. That big can't shade be to me. those boys, man. Cannot be me. Yeah, couldn't, couldn't be me either. Uh, mm. Let's see. All right, the last thing I want to talk about today is uh, Mortal Kombat 1 players. Oh god. Yeah, apparently uh the game is doing fantastic day 1 over a, over 2.4 million copies sold. Which is a hell of a lot of copies for a game that's only been out for 48 hours. But here's one problem that the players are having. Players are muting voices to avoid listening to Megan Fox's terrible voice acting. Now uh <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. I don't know if you've had a chance to listen to the character that she's uh, playing is Natara. Uh, have you had a chance to listen to some of these voice lines? For what? Uh, Megan Fox's Natara in uh, Nah, man. In I'm not. Kombat. I am definitely not interested in Mortal Kombat. Even as a, a fighting game fan, it's just not. I've never been an MK guy. Hmm. Gameplay to me is really stiff. Yeah. I like. I like more fluid kind of real rigid movement shit. and shit yeah. yeah so go ahead and uh take a take a look at that link that i put in the chat man i'm gonna go ahead and play oh. it for the audience too uh you guys are watching the video version uh good for you if you're listening to the audio version just just bear with me for a second here. don't i scare you in the least i see weirder every weekend on sunset that blade's enchanted we can't help what we are. That we feed on blood doesn't make us oh. evil. Yeah, um... Obviously, this is out of context. But even within context, this is this is actually insane, man. Um... What are your thoughts about this? <laughs> First of all, let's start there. I, uh... I mean, I don't know what I could say. It wasn't. <laughs> I, I wasn't particularly impressed. Yeah, uh, yeah. Take take your time, man. Really think about this as you're. Honestly, about to say it. it wasn't the worst I've ever heard. I think. You want to press play? Again? It was bad. Listen, listen to it one more time. No, nah, I listened to it. It wasn't. The first clip was fucking garbage, but like the second clip wasn't the worst. Why do you say that like with the, a question mark at the end? Cause I'm trying to like go like pick my brain about voice acting like uh, sequences that are really fucking bad, mm -hmm. and this one is definitely down there. I'm trying to figure out if it's actually the worst one, or like are people just kind of like overblown a little bit. Mm -hmm. That first one was really bad, but uh, 
I'm gonna tell you what I think. Ugh. I think these companies need to stop fucking around, man. They need to stop okay. fucking around with these celebrity voices and shit, man. Stop using that shit for marketing promotion. Like, stop using that as a marketing tool just to... And see, rest in peace, you know. God bless, rest his soul, man. Shout out to uh, the late, great Robin Williams. Because he's one of the first people before Shrek, right? So, mm -hmm. this was on a Disney documentary I saw. Robin Williams wanted to be so separated from his character uh, as Genie in Aladdin that he was like, yeah, he told Disney, yeah, absolutely. I will do the voiceover for, for your Genie character. Sure, no problem. But if you could please kindly just not use me as main promotion. What did Disney do? Robin Williams as Genie. Like he was back in the day, man. I remember when I was a kid seeing this shit. Oh, Rob, Robin Williams. Oh my God, that's the guy. We love Robin Williams. He's great. He's a he's an amazing comedian. He's so funny. Yeah, nah. He was not happy about that. Um, and mm -hmm. even Robin Williams had the foresight to know that if I start doing, you know, this voiceover, what's to stop these companies from? now no longer hiring real voice actors with a mm. particular set of experience and skills see when you start hiring celebrities you really really get into some shit that you know they're not prepared for because they're more prepared for on-screen acting and certain things like that homegirls phoning it in for real for real i mean if we're if we're being honest megan fox is really just phoning it in the line she said don't I scare you in the least? And there's, it, it literally sounds like she's asking the most ridiculous question ever. I just, I'm so confused as to why they thought these were, and, and you know what? They probably had like 10 or 20 takes that were not nearly as good as the lines that got put in game. So. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm I'm always an advocate for hiring skilled voice actors to actually do the work because holy shit, this is <laughs> this is bad. And obviously, you know, for Mortal Kombat, the voice lines are not going to be the like main thing of the game, but they're a pretty big deal, especially in the Nether Realm games because before every single fight for the last 10, 15 games well, you have these character interactions that actually make these games fun, especially the Injustice series, man. Like the Injustice series, seeing certain characters match up against each other and the things that they say and the little quips that go back and forth before each fight. And even at the end of each fight, you're just like, oh my God, like that's part of, like, it's unskippable. It's like an unskippable anime intro. You know what I mean? So there's just mm. certain things that like you're looking forward to in, in your matchups and stuff like that. I don't know. It just it just doesn't it doesn't sit well with me. So that's just my two cents. You know what I mean? Plus, you know they they probably could have hired somebody who doesn't necessarily have like too many things under their belt, but like is up and coming instead of asking Megan Fox to do it. Because let's be honest, when's the last time Megan Fox was really relevant? Transformers, just... Jennifer's body. Jennifer's body is crazy. You know what I mean? Like, hold up. Let me let me do some due diligence here. Let me not just talk shit. Because she wasn't even in Barbie. I would I would have expected her to, to see her in Barbie or something, man. There's a lot of people in Barbie, actually. Hold on. Let me see. Let me go to her IMDb. Oh, she's in Expendables 4. I'm not watching okay. that. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay. 2014. 2016. Jennifer's Body in 2009. And Transformers in 2007. The fact that I was able to guess two of her four highest performing pieces of work. Um, she's in an episode of Dave. Um, okay. Only I'm the only person who ever watched that. Johnny and Clyde. I have no idea what that is. Um, Good Morning. She plays a character named Kennedy. Big Gold Brick. Taurus. Night Teeth. I think, is this the Vampire Nightclub one? Yeah, it is. It's the one that went straight to Netflix. So that was kind of mid. That was a two out of five. So it's a little bit lower than. Till Death. Midnight in the Switch. 
Brass, Machine Gun Kelly, Drunk Face, Rogue, Think Like a Dog. Yeah, nah, man. Sorry. There's, I'm, I'm going back here. And uh, Megan's, oh, she was in an episode of New Girl. So, you know, and then before that, she was in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, she does have three upcoming projects, though, including Mortal Kombat 1, Naya, Legend of the Golden Dolphin. I uh, don't know what that is. I think I that's also probably... I don't know what that is. Yeah, and um, another movie called <laughs> Subservience. Apparently, it's in post-production right now. It's going to come out in 2026. So, mm. uh, it's directed <laughs> and stars... And it's written by nobody you've ever heard of. So. Damn. Yeah. So. I mean, this happens. This yeah. thing happens. I mean, she's a celebrity. She's, you know. Would that make you. I'm a, I feel like asking you this question is, is absolutely absurd. So. <laughs> what? Do you think that would make people buy more copies of Mortal Kombat knowing that Megan Fox voices a character in it? Not really because i mean believe it or not it's gotta be like an outstanding character in order to like sell copies like homelander they got homelander they got omni man they got peacemaker is jk got, like, simmons actual... doing the, the yes, voice for omni oh, yes, he is. oh let's go see but jk simmons is an actor actor oh yeah he's like that yeah yeah he's he's built like that he's that guy you know what i'm saying megan fox i mean Yeah, I don't. I don't have anything. I I don't yeah, have. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm being so disrespectful, but I'm not trying to. <laughs> I'm not trying to be. <laughs> Speaking of disrespectful, man. Hey, you see that? You see that we got a uh, Invincible season two coming, man. Season two, and then season after that, two. season three will be on the horizon because yes, I think they were in, both in production at the same time. Or yes, and time. it shows right here on IMDb that Invincible season two is currently uh, in post production. It looks like. Let me see, yeah, season Ooh. two, episode one, set to premiere November third. So well, that's pretty close. Yeah, that's say. right around the corner, my man. So, Very close, to yeah. be honest. J.K. Simmons is reprising his role as Nolan Grayson. Oh. Oh, apparently. I hope so. Apparently, Amber's coming back too, so I'm sure somebody's gonna have an issue with that. But it's cool, I guess. Uh, see, yeah. What's, what's he doing? It's my baby girl. She's pretty irrelevant. Irrelevant later in the story, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah. Well, she's only in four episodes in the upcoming season, so we'll see. Yeah, the next the next season's gonna be pretty big because uh, looking forward to that. Lots of shit. But that's pretty much gonna be it for today's uh, show. I don't have anything else to talk about. We spent a huge amount of time talking about cyberpunk. Honestly, uh, the whole episode should have been about cyberpunk, but you know we like to keep it a little a little different here. Um, yeah, undoubtedly. We like to talk about uh, the whole gaming space. Yeah. So we have a couple other you know small little micro shows that we got to do. Uh, fortunately, I'm not working tomorrow, but my girlfriend is, so I will be home making videos. Yes, sir. All right. Looking forward Here to go. that one. Oh, fuck. I thought today was Friday. Today is Saturday. Saturday. Fuck me. Oh, man. My weekend's almost over. <sighs> well, that's going to be it for us, guys. Uh, thank you guys for listening in. Thank you for tuning in. If you are watching the YouTube video, make sure to hit the like button. We really, really appreciate that. Also, comment down below. Let us know your thoughts and opinions on this week's episode, man. We really would love to hear you guys' feedback. Uh, honestly, man, we need a few more subscribers. So if y'all want to, you know, take a couple of clips, you know what I mean? Maybe share them with your friends. Your mom probably listens to the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Get her, mm. get her tapped in. You know what I'm saying? Yes, that'd, be, that'd be greatly appreciated. So, you know, and also if you guys want to financially support the show, we do have the Patreon, which you can scroll down to the, the description, but at patreon.com slash canon culture, there's going to be a link for you guys just in case some of you can't spell because, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. Uh, and, uh, you know, just go on and toss your boys a dollar, man, so we can keep the lights on. Uh, if you were listening to the audio version, same applies to you. And uh, make sure you guys break the show five stars, man. Um, we, we we definitely need it so that way more people can get recommended the show and uh, with that that's gonna be it Plank any closing statements today um 
No, I don't think so. I had to think about it. Okay. Right. Well, uh, the One Piece live action is actually good. Oh, you watched it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been, well, I've been watching it a little bit here and there. I'm on episode three. So, you know, slogging my way through it a little bit. You know, it, it takes a lot for me to commit to a show. I bet. Yeah, you know, we in there. But we want to thank you guys for listening. We'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon.